Hey, welcome back. Hotspots in Elementor are super fantastic. You've got an image, a product, some scenery, a car, whatever, and you want to put some icons over it. And when you hover or click on them, it gives you a bit more detail, a bit like a tooltip. It could contain a link to take you off to purchase the product and do so much more. But what if you want to go a step further? Now, when you click on the hover, you want it to reveal a particular tab in an accordion. Now, why are we using the accordion, you might ask? Well, that might contain a template, so it's got tons more details now, or there's a little bit more information, which didn't look too good when you did it as a tooltip over the image. So stay tuned, because we're gonna experiment how to do that right now. Where did the code come from? I hear you asking. It came from Maxime from Elements.how. He is an amazing coder and elementarist. He helps so many people out with amazing things. And he saw a query um, on the forum where someone was asking this question and he's basically solved it. And I'm helping him out with the video for it. So if you want to get the code that we've used, and it is a long code, but believe me, once you drop it in, you don't need to mess around with it too much. The description link is over there. Go and click it to get hold of the code. I'm gonna show you how to build it, okay? We've got a section with a black, darkish black, charcoal background and two set columns. You could do this on as many columns as you want. The key thing is though that everything we're doing is within the section. So the accordion, the hotspots, and the HTML code, which is gonna make this all work and function, sits within this section as well. We're gonna drop over here the hotspot. What is a hotspot dot? It's not a good spot. That's from a game show. You might not know. Now, hotspots, if you're not familiar with, are so, so versatile in what they can do. We're just going to drop into here a image like so. I am going to modify this and just drop some styling in. I'm not going to waste your time with the styling on this video. It's more about how do we get this to work. So I've just dropped in a hotspot over here, okay? Uh, if I go down here, we have item one. If I click on item one, I could now add in a label and I could also add in a link, and I could also add in some content as well. So the idea is, is that when you hover over it, and you've got to go to preview to see it, but when you hover over it, you would see this detail appear above, below, to the left or right of the hotspot. But we don't actually want any labels. I'm going to get rid of that. No label, no content. So you're just going to leave that as item one, okay? What you will do is mess around with the position. So you'll go to position, and you will maybe maneuver this around and you'll go like up and down and put it wherever you want. So we might decide, okay, we're gonna have our first hotspot over here. And of course you would then stylize it. You don't have different icons for different things unless you really, really have to. But obviously go down here uh, to, sorry, let me show you that again. Go to the hotspot, go down here to where it says icon and then go and pick your icon. So if I was to pick a circle, I might go for something like this for instance, and then I'm gonna to go to style, I'm gonna to go to hotspot, and I'm gonna change the color, and you will obviously style it, you know, with your padding, your border radius, all of these things, okay? Do what you want with it. The key thing is, though, if we go back to the content, we go to hotspot, if I now um, just uh, duplicate that a few times, item one, item two, item three, it's very important you understand the order and where you're putting things. So item two, I'm gonna click into it, go to position and I'm now gonna position it somewhere else. Like I might go and stick it over here near the car or um, in fact, I won't put it in a car. I'm gonna stick it up somewhere around here, okay? And then you would do it for item three as well. It's very important you do that. What we're gonna to do to the right is stick in the accordion. Now, the, the accordion I'm dropping in here could be to the left of the image or below the image. It, you don't have to put it to the right like I'm doing at the moment. I'm just showing you how to build it, okay? This is completely subjective to how you wanna do it. So it's important you have three tabs because you've got three hotspots, you've got to have three tabs. If you have two tabs, it will only kind of work for the first two hotspots. If you've got four tabs, the fourth tab is not gonna do anything because we've only got three hotspots. So make sure your hotspots and your accordions match up, synchronize them, okay? Because that's pretty important. And what you would then do in here is basically you would just now modify your text. You modify your title, you modify your text, you basically modify all of it the way you would. And you don't even have to have text in here. Remember, you could drop in, oops, sorry, you could drop into here some short code. So create a template somewhere in Elemental and then drop the short code in here. 
that works absolutely fine as well. The third key component is the HTML code. I'm just going to drop that in over here. Okay, it doesn't really matter where you drop it as long as everything is still within the same section. So we've dropped in our HTML code. Okay, well, our widget. We're then going to drop in this code. And watch what happens. Nothing. Why did nothing happen? Well, when I say nothing's happened, I'll show you that nothing's happened. If I go over here, even if I look at it in preview, nothing will work. Because the key bit here is at the moment, we have not set this in. So where it says HSACC design, you need to copy that. Go over to your section, not your column, not your hotspot, not your accordion, okay? The section. Go to advanced, and where it says CSS class, just drop in HS hyphen ACC hyphen design. If you want to change it, fine. Just make sure you change it in the HTML code as well. So here's the preview page, um, and I have stylized it. So I've now uh, made the circle when it's active be an orange color. Um, I've also got black colors for when it's inactive, and I've removed the border around the accordion, and I've given it a particular range of colors in how it works. One thing I will mention, Bo, is before I do the quick preview, is if you go back to the HTML, down here in the code, you will see the elements over here. So this is now saying, what do you want to happen when it is active? So at the moment, when it's inactive, the hotspots are black with a, um, with a plus sign in white. But when it is activated, so now you've clicked on it, I want it to go to like an orangey color, and I want to have a white border around the circle, FFFF of two pixels. So you can modify some of the details here. This is HTML code. Go away and play with it. Just make sure, you know, if you lose it, go back to element.how to get a copy of it. So what does this look like now? So look, you can see that the first one is activated. If I now click over here on the car, watch what happens over here. We have the car, the title, right? Look at that. The accordion moved. Well, not moved, it activated and the tab becomes clear. Let's go over to the shops. Let's go over to the tours. Let's go over to the restaurant. Do you see how versatile and amazing this is? So you've got your hotspot over here. You do your positioning and your styling and whatever. You do your accordion. Again, you do your styling, make it look good to how you want it to look. You put the HTML in, into the section. You make sure you've got the class name in. I mean, this is brilliant. I mean, yes, you can do this as well, right? And it's not going to activate anything over here. So you might go, well, you know, why not? But Take it for what it is. This is an amazing code, right? Can you imagine if you've got a hotspot like, I don't know, 10 of these, maybe, not 10, maybe overkill. You've got four of them on a um, uh, some architecture or a landscape or a shop or whatever. This is so versatile. This is brilliant. Hats off to Maxime, element.how. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Jump over and get the code for free and go away and play with it and feel happy in your life, because I'm happy right now. You take care.